What's up, everybody, and welcome to the very friendly game of Risk. I am Logan, aka Laser G, and today we are back on some of my favorite settings in all of Risk, my home and native land, the United States of America, with lizards and alliances and a lot of funky stuff going on. This should be a crazy game. Let's go ahead and see if we can make some alliances, and then I will show you the settings, and then we'll figure out where the fuck we're gonna go. Uh, looks like we have some interesting blizzards already. Cool, we've got an ally. I am playing Intermediate Plus. This map tends to be absolutely crazy either way, but when you're playing with noobs, it's very, very violent. We see blue taking a turn one bonus. I would consider this the noob corner of the map. We see a lot of violence here. And we are allies with everyone. Okay, so let's figure out what we're going to do. Hmm, doesn't look like I have a great line for a bonus right now. Wow, tricky open for me. Maybe we don't take a bonus? I kind of want to position myself to take this bonus, uh, the southwest. Right. So I think now I'm just getting a card and thinking about my positions. Do I even have a card? Yeah, I do right here. Okay, so let's add one there. This is going to be my fortify, I think. No, I don't want to fortify that. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's do this real quick. End my attack phase, move out of the noob corner. I like that. Okay, so now we're focused on really preserving our troops. No clear line for a bonus yet. Okay, we see red moving up there, sure. Let me show you the settings real quick. These are some of my favorite settings, like I said. We are playing World Domination on the United States, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turn, Expert AI, Progressive Cards, Balance Blitz Dice, Intermediate Plus with Alliances and Blizzards on. Okay, we're seeing green doing a fair amount of attacking. Sure. And then moves to the middle of the board. Makes sense. By the way, guys, this morning I won my round one of the Risk World Championship, and I also got three bounties. It was an epic game. Epic, epic game. Unfortunately, the recording failed, and so I played for over an hour. I won one of my favorite games ever, and then I looked, and boom, recording was not there. So we are playing this as a little bit of a makeup game, but I'm super, super excited about the Risk World Championship. We're in a great, great position to advance into the tournament now. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to show you the next one, hopefully. Hopefully my recording will work this time. Okay, we see black in basically four places on the board, right? One, two, three, four. Pretty strong position for them. With intermediate plus, it can be a little bit tricky to hold a bonus, uh, just because everyone's going to play multi-positional, it looks like. Curious to see if orange hits blue out of here, or how this goes down. You often see that war in the noob corner, but it looks like we have some good opponents here. The fact that pink didn't do that right away. Yeah, and then blue is content to add elsewhere. So it looks like they might actually be good neighbors there. That would be an interesting situation. I've never really seen good neighbors in that corner. It has always been absolute death in New England. Okay, sure. Where am I going here? Do I have a line for a bonus eventually? Hmm. Tricky. I could maybe take this. Take this plus three, right? Hmm. That seems pretty good to me, actually. I think we consolidate these troops up. Yeah, I think we consolidate these up. I like that play. Let's do this. Cool. Okay, and now we're going to make use of alliances. And tell Black, I'm sorry, I need to attack your territory. Heart. See if they get it. Cool. Yep, cool. I think they get it. Yeah, okay. So we are going to take this bonus. Yeah, interesting. We see red going here. Not really sure about that play from red. Green is going to go for the southwest bonus, maybe? 
Curious how they play that. They have a huge scary 14 in the middle of the board. Yeah, they're going for that bonus and they hit four to do it. So I don't think green is very good. Cool. Green's pissing a lot of people off with that, but they take a very strong bonus. This is the best bonus by far, in my opinion, on this map. A three point plus four. And this three is going to come onto this three, I would expect. No, interesting. Okay. Very interesting play. Let's see if we can get people to attack green. I think that blue and green are allies. That's the only reason that green would guard like that. I'm going to say no, I don't like that. Yeah. No, don't like that. I was going for that bonus. Attack pink. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. Cool, so now we're going to make it clear to Pink that we're taking that bonus. Yep. Okay, I'm going to say heart, and that's it for now. And then I'm going to say, I'm sorry I need to attack your territory, heart. Cool. Good. Okay, Pink gets it. Yeah, Pink is good. All right, I think we're playing with a lot of really good players here. Yeah, that's a really good play from Blue, because Blue knows I'm going in that way. Yeah, very good play from Blue. Okay, so here's what we do. We make this attack in for sure. Yeah, okay, I like that. And then this is my Fortify. So we're going to be in two positions, but holding a bonus, I think, which I'm totally fine with. Especially because this is a pretty small map. Yeah, let's make sure this continues to exist. I definitely want this to exist, but I don't feel like it's threatened, really. And then we're going to attack in. Yeah, like that. Cool, and we're allies with everyone, so this should work. Let's motion this way, and say thanks. Heart. End attack phase. Cool. I actually decided to fortify that way, just so it's clear I have enough to hit uh, pink if they don't move, but they'll move. Seems like a really, really good game. See if you will attack green. I don't think that red is going to attack green, but worth a shot, right? It's worth a try. Yeah, I mean, he hits green there. Wow, he does break green. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. Did not expect that. Cool, okay, I don't think red is very good. Obviously attack red. A lot of you might wonder, like, why am I telling green to attack red here? Because obviously he's going to hit red. My thinking is that if I say to attack red, it'll reinforce that relationship. This is a very bad roll. That was not a 100% roll. He should have attacked off of the 12. Yeah, that was not a good roll at all. I'm pretty sure that blue and green are allies because of this situation. And I don't think that green gets broken again. But maybe we see this massive war and they're both dead. Pink is going to move their 7 off. Yep. Cool. Appreciate you. Okay. So now we're going to take this bonus. Very good. Yeah, this is great. This is a great situation. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Pink and I are very cool. Okay, so we don't want to guard strong to pink at all. Let's just throw a heart, let's throw a heart to green, because we need to be cool with green. They have a four here. We're going to make a lot of attacks on my turn. Four attacks, actually. Okay. See blue going in there, sure. Don't really understand that play from blue. Okay, well, this is my fortify. Gonna add here. Okay, and we're gonna make a number of attacks right now, as I said. Uh, lose a troop, not ideal at all. Okay. Hit that. Hit this. Okay, and then where do we wanna be strong? I don't think black breaks me. There's a chance that red breaks me. Let's guard it a little bit like a fixed game for now, and then we'll undo that in a second. Let's 
throw a heart to red. I'm not going to tell them to attack green, because that would basically be suicide for them. See if they do it anyway. Wow, I think they do. Look at this, 17 v 12. Oh my god. No, he goes up. Sure. Yeah, all right, cool. I was like, wow, <laughs> crazy, crazy move from red. Let's give green a heart. Maybe we should get pink to attack blue, because blue can't even really retaliate on pink, right? Let's tell, let's tell them to do that. There's no way pink wants blue behind them. Right, no matter, no matter how good of a neighbor these guys are, there's no way pink likes this situation. So I'm going to say to attack blue. Where is green going with that? Hits me. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. No worries at all. Okay, you need to attack blue, sir. Okay? Attack blue. That's actually good advice, I think, for pink. Right? Pink just cleans blue out of the pocket, and there's literally nothing blue can do about that. I don't, I don't mind them getting strong next to me, because I think pink and I are going to be allies. I'm pretty sure pink is good, right? Isn't Marin, like, a known good player? Let me know in the comments. He wants me to attack green. Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, you hit blue, though. Where is he going? Oh, he hits green out of there? Interesting. He hits green out of the pocket. So now green is in one position. Makes a lot of sense, right? Because green's going to get strong over there. Huh. Very interesting stuff. Let's tell green to attack pink. Black is in three places. One, two, three. Count them. Moves away from me, which we like. I am going to attack green, but it's going to be totally incidental. It's not actually going to be a, like a real attack. I don't think blue is going to hit green. So I'm not going to ask them to attack green and ruin my relationship with them. Okay, they hit there. Not really understanding blue's game right now. We might want to get out of this bonus, though. Let's add a little here. No, let's add one here. And I'm going to tell Blue, I'm sorry I need to attack your territory. Heart. Cool. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, and then where do I want to guard this bonus? Maybe I do a two point? Hmm. I do kind of like the threes structure, though. Okay, let's do this. Okay, end attack phase. Looks good to me. All right, so we're in two positions. Getting pretty strong now, holding that plus three. I'm in the best situation of anyone except green right now. Where's red going with that? Nowhere. Okay, just sits in the middle of the board. Give him another thumbs up. I think I'm going to move my threes now. Like, if someone wants to break me, I don't want to lose anything. But I don't think they will. I think I just make a huge, huge stack here. Okay, we see green hitting blue. Sure. Green getting very strong. Green getting very, very strong. I also have to set in second, which I don't love. I think there's a lot of good players in this game. I would not be surprised if there are multiple Grandmasters. I'm not going to give pink any instructions. I feel like I, I should give pink a second, but I did want them to hit blue out of there, and they do. Yeah, they do, right? Pop? Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, that's a good, that's a good turn for pink. I think you have to do that, unfortunately. Don't really know why Blue thought that was a good idea to take that back corner. Peanut? Yeah, I don't think that was a good play from Peanut here. Because that, that corner always gets slammed. Like, I've never played this map where it doesn't get hit, and I've played this map a number of times. Yeah, we're cool. I like, I like that you did that. I like that you did that. Okay, Blue sets, gets the four. What does blue do with the set? Blue's in a tough spot here. Almost in one position. 
They add there, very smart. I was going to tell uh, Black to try and hit that because that was their only other spot on the board. So I'm going to give him a well played, actually. That was a really good play from Blue to be in two places. And actually, they're in three places, believe it or not, because these are totally split. So Blue's playing super well. Yeah, that was a great, great play from Blue, creating three positions as far away as he can because of this split in the board. So I am actually kind of controlling this whole region here in a way with my eight. Obviously we set. Mm, how do we play this? Where are my cards? Iowa and there, all right, we're not gonna get those, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, I wanna have a bigger stack here, but I don't wanna be threatening to red. Yeah, I think that's the play. So let's make this an 11 and then it will become a 10. Let's make this a big stack. Let's attack here. Yeah, that looks fine. And pull off a three. Cool, all right, so we got a 10 and a 21 and then some other random threes. Not a terrible position. I would rather be green and I would rather be pink just because they're trading after me. But I'm pretty cool with this. And we're fairly open to the board, right? Like this 10 is pretty open. This 21 is decently open. It can only hit one territory, actually. Hmm, maybe I want to move that. We'll think about it. I think someone could have taken this bonus and been good neighbors, this plus four of the Appalachian Highlands, because we're playing with a lot of uh, really smart players here. So I think someone could have taken that bonus and gotten away with it personally. Like if Red had really focused on that, I think they could have gotten it. Okay. Red creating another position or back to the 21? Back to the 21, sure. So Red's sitting with a 31 in the middle of the board. They're looking pretty appetizing. Do I have a set? I don't. I think that's okay. Okay, green getting very, very scary and strong down there. Wow, okay, green's not very good. No reason to piss everyone off and do that. Yeah, that's not at all worth it, right? How many troops did he hit? Yeah, black's laughing. I mean, that's a plus two, and he hit like 12 troops to get it or something, and pissed everyone off, and then doesn't guard it? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Makes pink very weak, though, right? Because pink just lost a lot of stuff. So, obviously pink needs to attack green now. Oh no, black is really weak. I think they just fed the kill. Right? They just fed the kill on black. Which now pink is going for. What the fuck was that? Wow, black gets to set in. Crazy. Black had 18 troops and 5 cards. Very lucky for black. Very, very lucky for black. Interesting. Okay, black just takes a card. Ooh, I'm not really lined up on blue. Yeah, I'm not really lined up on blue. Hmm. Yeah, we're totally locked from killing blue, I think. Bummer. Wish I had a set here. Okay, but we can line up a lot of kills, I think. Hmm. can line up the black kill and the pink kill. We can line up every kill here. I'm not gonna break green. I want someone else to break green and piss green off, I think. Yeah. Okay. I like this where it is, actually. Let's do this. Get this card. Okay, pink's not gonna like that. I did it really, really fast. What 
What does red do here? Store red a heart. Yeah, they don't hit me. Cool. Hits green? Where are they going? Oh, no, they're killing blue. Sure. Good play. That's why you sit in the middle of the board with a big stack. If no one can kill you, if no one can kill you, then you're in a really good spot to make kills. It's a risky play, but pays off here. But that means red's gonna be sitting on five. Red's gonna be sitting on five. Do I have a set? I do have a set. Red sets gets the twenty. Can they chain here? Do they kill green now? I think they kill green now, right? I don't know if they have it. I think they don't have it. I think they fail this kill. Unless they're taking the bonus? No, they're just taking a bonus. Sure. No, they're going for it. They, yeah, they fail this kill. This was a bad kill. They feed that kill to someone. Who gets it here? Wow, this is such a bad kill. Such a bad kill. Yeah, green should be pissed about this. This was never, never a good idea from red. So we know that green and red are not very good. Does green have a set here? Red kind of fed themselves. I think red doing that just fed the game to someone. And unfortunately, I go right before red. So I'm kind of in the worst position to take advantage of the chaos here. I think that actually just lost me the game. Uh, green full suicide into red, who's on five. So green and red feeding each other's kills. Can pink get these kills? Pink is locked here. Pink locked their own troops. If pink has a set on three, they can come through. If not, then maybe black can get the green kill. Yeah, I think black is the big winner here. That's my prediction. I think if black is good, I think if black is good, black wins. Maybe they sweep the board, actually. We'll see. If someone has a set on three, it's super over, right? If pink or black has a set on three, that's game. Uh, okay, pink gets the green kill. No, they don't? Oh my god, huge missed opportunity. I think they had it. I mean, it was risky. Okay, so I think black wins now. Black has the set. Yeah, that's game. Although they will be on five if they choose to kill green, but no, they're killing red, I think. See how they play this. Okay, they killed green. Here's the question, can they get the red kill? If black can get the red kill, it's GG. But that doesn't set them in. Oh, they fucked it up, they should have gone for the red kill. Okay, we need to get the red kill. Here we go, we set. All right, action time. We get the red kill and then the black kill, I think. Red is this way. That can go all the way around. Okay, here we go. Uh, make sure I don't close my line. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, that's fine, right? Cool. All right. A little stressful. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I didn't slide her there. Uh, now I think we get the black kill. Right? Set. Obviously don't trade in the wild card. Let's do that. Okay, what do we need for the black kill here? Uh, yeah, we're definitely in a better position on black. So we gotta do this, unfortunately. 29. Yeah, okay, that's game. Good game. Uh, make sure slider. Yep, got it there. Wow, got crazy good dice for once. That's awesome. Get the black kill. Nice, okay. Yeah, so here's the mistake. Black should have killed red on five, and instead they killed green, who had way, way fewer troops, but it didn't set them in in turn. That was the big mistake that uh, gave me the game, basically, here. Cool. Nice little 101 stack. That's awfully cool. Uh, let's go ahead and say, good game. Well played. Give a little fist bump. And clean it up. Nice. Good morning here. Won the Risk Championship, or at least round one, and get this win as well right after it. What's up, haters? I captured America. Ooh, that's fun. I like conquering America. There's like a special satisfaction with capturing your own country.
Okay, we got intermediate expert, intermediate master expert. Okay, I was wrong with my grandmaster prediction. Uh, Marin was a master, so I was right that pink was quite good. And then, yeah, green was not quite as good. No reason for them to take the West Coast there. Makes sense. And then black was an expert. Yeah, black played well, but again, they chose the wrong kill at the end. I think black could have swept the board with the set on three if they killed red, and then you kill green, and then you kill pink, and then you kill me. Yeah, they could have swept the whole board. But we get the win. Love you guys. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more Risk content, and I will see you next time on my road to becoming a Grandmaster.